Alright, so we have a smart wall box sensor that's installed in a small coffee nook here. And because of the size of this room, I want to change some settings on the sensor to best fit for how this space is going to be used. First off, I want to change the operating mode from auto on to manual on so that the button has to actually be pushed for the light to turn on. Some other settings I want to change are the timeout and I want to change the sensitivity on the sensor down since this room is fairly small and just to help avoid any false tripping issues. To make the changes is really simple using the app. First make sure you have the smart sensor app downloaded onto your phone. With the app open you'll go in and select the type of device. There's two options a wall box sensor and a fixture mount sensor. Being a wall box sensor we're going to choose that option and next we're going to put the sensor in pairing mode by pressing on the button for about five seconds seconds and you'll see a blue LED light start to flash behind the PIR lens letting you know that the sensor is now in pairing mode. With the app open you'll see the device listed on there. Now usually there's only going to be one device listed because it's in active Bluetooth uh, beaconing mode right now but if for some reason there's multiple devices that are selected and you're not sure of the exact device you can click on the green identify button to confirm this is the right sensor that you're connected to. So I'll press on that now and you'll notice LED is now flashing green which indicates that's the right sensor. So I'll now press on the name of the sensor in the app to connect to the device and once connected the LED will go to a solid blue. Inside of the app uh, first thing we're going to do is change the sensitivity of the sensor. I'm going to turn that all the way down to low. Actually, I'll even do it down to very low here because this room uh, is only about 10 square feet or so. Next, we're going to change the operating mode from auto on to manual on. So I'm going to click on the manual on button and click OK and save that setting. Last is the timeout. Now I'm going to change it down to five minutes. Most people will be in and out of this room within a few minutes, so uh, I want to keep that time out as low as possible so that we're increasing our energy savings in this room. And I click OK, and all of the changes are now made. So really, it just takes about 30 seconds uh, to go in, make the changes, and exit the app. And we're now set up in manual on, sensitivity low, and a timeout of five minutes. All right, so in this next demo, we're going to show how to pair one smart wall box sensor to another uh, through a wireless uh, connection. And this is going to give you a whole bunch of advantages because when connecting to the other sensor, you can have that sensor connected to a load. It can be on a completely different circuit or it doesn't have to be connected to a load at all. But when they're paired together wirelessly, they will operate in unison where either sensor can pick up motion and uh, turn, turn the lights on or hold them on, and then either sensor can also be used to turn the lights on or off with the push button. So we have one sensor already mounted in, in the wall, and the other sensor we just have powered uh, with line voltage only, it's not connected to any load. And to do the pairing process, you don't need the app, it's all done through push button pairing process. So first, I'm gonna go to the first sensor and do a long press until the light behind the PIR lens starts to flash yellow. First it'll flash blue and then blue-red and then start to flash green with yellow coming next here. And as soon as it flashes yellow, I'm going to go ahead and remove my finger from the button. And basically what it's doing, it's opening up a network and it's going to allow me to now pair another sensor to this network. I'm going to go to the next sensor now and do the exact same process. A long press on the on-off button, again, the light starts to flash blue, then blue-red, then we'll go to green. All right, at yellow, I'll go ahead and turn it off. And you'll notice this first sensor is now starting to blink blue and yellow, basically showing that a network has been established. The second sensor will now start to enroll within that network. The sensors will stay in this pairing mode uh, that will allow you to enroll other sensors if you wish for about two minutes. But already these sensors are basically in a network. So you can go to the first sensor, turn the lights on or off, go ahead and turn off, and go to the other sensor, 
and it'll do the same thing. Turn the lights on or off. Again, they are not connected together other than wirelessly. So it's a real simple and easy process to do. You can have up to five sensors connected together. So this is great for maybe large conference rooms where you're gonna have multiple entryways or in a long corridor where you could have multiple sensors connected together. If there's no other sensors to enroll into the system, you can go ahead and just let it time out, which it'll, it will take about two minutes to do. If you run into any issues, it's very simple to reset the sensor and start over again. You're basically gonna do a long press on the on-off button for about 30 seconds until it starts to flash red. So I'll do a long press. You'll notice first, it's gonna go blue and then blue-red, and then to green, and then it goes to flashing yellow, then it'll go to red. I'll remove it. It's basically reset itself now. The load will flash on and off and show that the sensor is now reset. The Bluetooth reset is going to fix most things. 